Okay, so I want to record the serial numbers against some stock items that I've already received into stock. So um, we already have stock uh, against a number of transactions. Just going to have a quick look. We have goods receipts, and these items have all been receipted into stock uh, without a serial number. If I drill in on one of them, I can see that they're flagged for serial numbers. Uh, the management method says that uh, I need the serial number only on the release of the item. So basically I can take them into stock um, without recording the serial numbers, but I won't be able to dispatch them until I have recorded those serial numbers. So to record the serial numbers, I go to stock management, down to item management, down to item serial numbers, serial number management, and then this window appears. There are two options here. I can either update, in other words, update existing serial numbers, but I haven't created any serial numbers yet, or I can choose the option to complete, which actually means to create uh, serial numbers for received items. The system then has some tabs here um, saying, how are those items received? So they weren't actually received on goods received POs, although in the normal course of events they would be. These were actually opening stock items, so they were received as stock postings, specifically as goods receipts. So then in relation to the range of stock items, I can go from the first to the last stock item on my system, or I can simply leave that blank. I click on the OK button, and it brings up all of the items that I have currently received, for which I do not have serial numbers. So I pick the first item and I enter the relevant serial number. In this instance, there's just one item, so there's only one serial number needed. And when I uh, attempt to click away from that, the system asks, do I wish to save the serial number for that item? I'll just answer yes. And now you can see that I've created one serial number. It's not actually created until such time as I click the add button, but it has, um, it has recorded the, uh, the actual serial number. For the next item then, um, I would need to click the add button um, and move on to the next item. 